Hey sports fans, welcome back. <clears throat> Today we're going to paint some more British Union Brigade. Black. I'm going to go with some black. Here you see I've got some I've gotten started on. So now I've got their strapping. Right? Or, I'm sorry, the horse's reins. Right here. All right. I already got some of the <coughs> accoutrement on the cavalry soldier here. So let me pull a couple we'll work on today. I do not have the black, so let's go this guy. So this guy, I like these guys. He's got the pistols, All right? <clears throat> Pretty cool. Pistolias. So we're gonna shake up our Vallejo black. And go on in. See what the consistency is. Looks good. I'm gonna come in with the bare skin hats. So you can really see how we're doing there. Right in with my detail brush. Back of the shot just a little bit. Going, we're going to hit the brim. But not the side plume. See, I'm missing that side plume there. Right. And we'll go back to the back here. And when we come back in, we'll do the gold. Uh, The gold bits here a little later. They got like little horses on the tops of their hats. I don't know if you guys can make out that little detail. It's pretty cool. And uh, I like this. Really getting heavily into the black powder era and also uh, the ancients. Um, so uh, look forward to that on the channel. We're going to go over some of the Hail Caesar stuff. Lots going on. Can't do everything. Bit by bit. Playing with his boots. Tips of his boots. Of his boots. Bottom of the boots. Hey! Almost lost my brush, guys. I'm gonna readjust the main camera here, guys. Down a little bit. Thanks again for watching, guys. Alright, let's go back in. And do the other side of his boots. His right boot. Like so. like that. <clears throat> now here can be a little tricky part. I'm going to draw this out. We're not going to push very hard. And I'm going to do the reins of the horses. Of the horse. Like 
so. On the side of the horse here. Right here. Hope everyone's doing well. And right down the side like this, just uh, you know, getting the tops. So we don't have to get down on the sides. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna be doing the horse flesh, which would be a whitish color, and we'll be doing a, a wash. To get down in some other recesses. <clears throat> so the deal is just getting a good quality sable brush. Don't push hard and don't get uh, too much paint on the on the tip of the brush. That's really what you're focusing on right here. Yeah. This is part of the bridle. Yeah. Back around, make sure we got everything. Eh, got a little bit on the horse's head, but we can come in. We'll clean that up later. Don't panic. Don't panic. Everything will be okay. We can always do touch-ups later. At the very end. Alright, that was good. I'm going to go underneath the brim of his hat, make sure I get that good. Alright. And look at a couple that I've already done, make sure there's nothing that I'm missing. I don't think there is. We're going to consult the box. Here's the box. Uh, yes. There's something I'm missing. There's something I missed on this guy. Here, guys. I'll show you here. We'll go back on the shot. The strapping on the... on the bedroll. So he was missed on this one. But then again, I didn't get the red on the bedroll. But this is what happens, guys. I mean, I get sidetracked sometimes. And... I have to come back. And the wife may ask me to, hey, get up here and start the grill so we can get the steaks on the shrimp on the barbie and the steaks on the barbie. And I'll put my brush down and clean it out. And I'll totally forget that I wasn't completely finished with one of my things. You know what? That's okay. It's not the end of the world. Again, go in real light, guys. And just remember, on either side of that strap, if I do go past the strap, I can come back in later at the final step, and uh, we'll clean that up with some red. But so far, that was pretty good. And our strap right here in front of this bed roll. Let's go ahead and make the whole thing around. Uh, right there at the top, though, there is a buckle. And we'll come back in later with our silver. And we'll touch that up. So don't fret. It'll be alright. And uh, he's done. So I'll probably put this guy off. I didn't do his... Uh, I didn't do his... Um, his uh, bedroll. I keep wanting to say uh, sleeping bag. <clears throat> we'll go in. I'm going to show you one more. But I don't know if you can see that on the top of his hat, right at the top of his hat. There is a embossed horse. 
I don't have to come back in with the uh, <coughs> with the gold later and uh, pick that out because I love these hats. I love these bearskin hats. But you think back in North America and Canada, how many bears they killed and skinned to get these hats? Right? And like beaver pelts, you know, the beavers were used to make, you know, Abraham Lincoln's hat that he's famous for wearing. That was made out of beaver pelts. It was very popular then. This beaver was waterproof, their skin, their skins. And men would wear them as top hats with a overcoat. But in the process, a lot of beavers had to die with trappers. I'm going to go in right around that plume, like so. And uh, do his boots. Dust boot. Dust boot. this okay. and the bottom of the spur and they have those uh, it's almost like a gator what we call gators uh, to protect from brush stickers um, snakes Very common in the military back in the day, all the way up through, geez, World War II, Marines on Iwo Jima were in gators. Uh, they had those for the, uh, the snakes on those uh, Pacific Islands. I'll have to go back in later. That was pretty sloppy there, if I do say so myself. Uh, we'll come in with the red and we'll just we'll clean that up on either side. No harm, no foul. I just noticed there's a little strap here. Need to grab for the horse, which means I did not get it on this horse. I'll go ahead and get him too. Right there on the rear end of the horse. Let's go ahead and grab that. Also, this other one that I missed. Boom. Let's go in. And we will do the reins. Like so. Get some in there. We'll get those. Look at this. Come in. The side, get the top of the nose. And get this one. And get this one. Turn them around. We will go in. And zip, 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 zip. Right at the rain. I want to encourage you guys, don't get discouraged. I make mistakes all the time. And now you just got to go in, final step, and do just a little bit of cleanup. Like so. And it's all good. This is all about having fun and learning patience and learning you can make a little mistake and you can come in and correct it very so slightly ever so slightly 
pressure on the brush. Ever so slightly. Let me get a close look. This will get a little. What I can do there. Correct. Yeah, that looks good. We'll do a little touch ups there at the end. Uh, overall, uh, this is progressing. Once I get done with this project, and this is uh, one of my rules, I don't start something new <laughs> until I finish something that I'm currently working on. Otherwise, I end up with a bunch of half to a quarter to three quarters finished projects. And you don't want that, guys. You really don't. You want to finish while you start, finish it all the way through. Otherwise, you've got a whole shop full of half-finished projects. And uh, that's no fun. So, uh, that black, sometimes the, the like reds, blacks, at the end of your paint session, you're gonna get, need to go in with your your brush cleaner, massage the bristles ever so gently, ever so gently. Get those little get those little bristles clean. Get all that that dark pigment out of the bristles. Do a rinse. Another inspection. Now that's another reason, guys, you don't really want to go all the way up to the hilt, the base of the neck of the brush. You really just want to keep the paint right towards the upper half. Form your tip. Very important. Thanks for being with us today, guys. Be good, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.